Welcome back to Love Nesters and the fifth day of our Lake Superior Circle Tour. In our last video, we explored the east side of Lake Superior, learned about the Sioux Locks, and explored the inside of a freighter. Today we are on the south side of Lake Superior for a spectacular adventure at Pitcher Rocks National Lakeshore. With unique rock formations, towering waterfalls, over 12 miles of pristine beaches, and 100 miles of trails, Pictured Rocks offers a plethora of incredible experiences. It's hard to know where to start. From hidden gems to iconic landmarks, we'll show you the must-see attractions, share insider tips, and help you make the most of your valuable time. Thanks for joining us on another Love Nesters adventure. So the plan for today, we started up in Grand Marais and we are working our way down the Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. We'll do a big hike at the Chapel Beach, Chapel Rock area, and then we hope to do a boat tour. Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore is in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It was the first of three national lakeshores to be designated in the United States. Good stretch. Yeah, this is a great way to get the day started. We're doing the 168 steps up and 168 steps down. Uh, to the Grand Sable Falls. It's a nice, easy walk in to Sable Falls. Stairs are a bit of a killer, but it's a quick stop. So if you're trying to pack as much in as possible, we recommend doing that. There is a bathroom facility and plenty of parking at the Sable Falls trailhead. So the logging industry was very popular in the late 1800s and early 1900s in the Upper Peninsula. So the log slide descends 500 feet and while it may take a few seconds to get down, they say it can take an hour or more to get up. So we are just going to give it a look today. We are at the log slide. It only take a few seconds to get down, about hours to get back up. Probably with the help of a park ranger and a hefty fine. At one time, there was a wooden chute that the logs slid down into Lake Superior and were then rafted over to Grand Marais for processing. Legend has it that the logs going down the wooden slide would sometimes light on fire from all the friction. The log slide overlook is probably a 10 minute stop. There are no facilities here. But so far, the signage has been uh, great. Parts of uh, the UP, the signage is not, is actually terrible. There are primitive restroom facilities at the trailhead. The full chapel loop, which includes Mosquito Falls, is 10 and a half miles. 
we chose to do a shorter version of this hike that included the iconic Chapel Falls, Chapel Rock, and Chapel Beach features. This is still a long trail at 6.2 miles. It is about a 1.2 mile hike to see the 60 foot high Chapel Falls. The falls can be viewed from both sides of the river. This is actually so good for your soul. Perfect morning in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. It's great to be a Uper today. This is Chapel Falls. This lookout is spectacular. Get here in the morning, you can see the sunrise. And to this point from the parking lot, it's only 30 minutes. Easy walk, highly recommended. Here's a tree. You're, you're so training. <laughs> oh, I would never hope you would fall for a couple, a couple smiles. I don't want to see hard. My goodness. This is Chapel Rock. There was once an arch that connected Chapel Rock to the mainland, but it collapsed in the 1940s. The Lone Pine is connected to the mainland by its root system and is such an iconic landmark in Michigan that it was placed on their state quarter in 2018. The sea was angry that day, my friend. Once again, it's the end of May in the UP of Michigan, and it's approximately 42 degrees. And next to the lake, it's a hair color, so we highly recommend layers, layers upon layers. Layers, wear layers.
Chapel Beach is only accessible by a moderate hike or by boat. Hey, we made it. This is Chapel Beach at Pitch, Pitcher Rocks National Park in Michigan. So halfway on our hike today, the water is just a beautiful blue. You'd almost think you were in the Caribbean. Uh, we came in May and it's a freezing day, but the good news is we have no bugs today. What a great day to be here. Thanks for being here. If you're enjoying our adventures, we'd sure appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps others to find it. Made it. Right off of the trail is this beautiful freshwater lake. So the trail that does not go by the falls is more boardwalks, a little less wet, actually a little bit easier to walk on. So we are circling back on the other side of Chapel River and this is a much easier hike. Three and a half hours later, hit the final trail to the parking lot. It's been a spectacular hike. You need to, uh, I would say, a little bit of a training for, uh, what was this, a seven mile hike. We took a break in the middle had some snacks, so it worked out just fine. You get a feeling of being all alone in the woods up here. Hey, we're trying to bring the energy here at the end of the trail. Three and a half hours later, we made it. Wear hiking boots, it can get wet, bring a snack, bring water. It's kind of a half a day deal. Waterproof hiking boots, in fact. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for being here. Another piece of advice we would offer is actually get here early. The parking lot is full. So this is how full the parking lot is by one o'clock on a cold, windy day before Memorial Day. So it's real important that you do have an entrance pass and they don't have self-pay stations other than this QR code and you do often not have service. So either buy it the day before or you're going to need to go to one of the park stations but they don't open early so just plan in advance. Miner's Castle is one of the most famous landmarks along the Pictured Rock shoreline and is the only cliff area accessible by vehicle. Since our boat ride was canceled due to windy weather, we felt it gave us some great views of the Pictured Rocks. The lower overlook is worth the extra steps to come down here and get a really close look at Miner's Castle.
We got to see Buddy the Bison. The official mascot of the National Park Trust. Senior photo, Buddy. And this Buddy is a character, oh. The Miner's Castle Overlook is a great walk. It can be an easy one or a longer one. There are flush toilets here. We are at Miner's Beach. You do have to take steps down and there is a bathroom. Miner's Beach is about a mile long of pristine white sand. It is only a short walk from the parking lot and provides beautiful views of the bluffs. We got the Uper Pasty in the Upper Peninsula, the Uper Pasty. We're gonna give her a try here. Let's get this out, someone is very hungry. So pasties were something that was um, brought over by, I believe, uh, the Cornish, and they would make them in the mines because you could have your whole meal in this biscuit thing and um, take it into the mines and it would stay hot. And actually my relatives, still make those and eat those. They worked in the mines and- You're a youper. I am a, I have relatives that are youpers. So it's gonna be fun to give this a try. Some people like to eat it with gravy. Um, I prefer ketchup. Awesome. It's all about the crust. Yeah, oh my gosh, this looks just like those really. It's, it's uh, like a pork, potatoes, mm. carrots, rutabaga. This is awesome. Mm. If you're in the UP, you gotta have a Gotta have a pasty. A pasty. Yum, Thanks yum. for being here. We've got a sculpture park here. With our sunset cruise canceled, we had time for an extra stop. 15 miles east of Marquette is an incredible sculpture park. This is a 37-acre park with more than 80 sculptures, all done by one man, Tom Lakenland. And the best part? It's free. Well, looks like these owls are made from shovels and tractors. Get it? This is the Big Dipper, and here's the Earth. Wow, this is spectacular. Great thing you can drive through this, walk through, even in the winter you can snowmobile. Now that is beautiful. Some of this art is actually stuff that kids have drawn and sent into him and then he's made it. Well, there is a bathroom here on site. All right, so when you do the Lake Superior Circle Tour, you can get one of these books that explains all the places to go. There's lots of different tours you can do, but one of the fun things is you can collect stamps along the way as you go to the various places. And when you stop at one of the stamp collection sites, you can stamp your map, and when they're all filled in, you send it away and you get a uh, certificate, I think. So we are here in Marquette and we're going to go ahead and give it a stamp. Okay. 
Before wrapping up our day, we had time to stop at the iconic ore dock in Marquette. Join us in the next video when we explore the QAnon Peninsula, sampling local food, breathtaking views, and an abandoned copper mine. Chapel Beach at the National Park of... Pictured Rock National Park. Pictured Rock. We got... So if you're wondering which direction you're going, most phones, this iPhone 2 has a compass on it that shows that we are heading north, and north is to Lake Superior. That's where we want to be. <laughs>